People in the local boxing community are helping to put up a fight against cancer, a benefit to aid the family of Dorchester native Carl Hosey will take place tomorrow at Peter Welch's gym in South Boston. Joining us are the owner of the gym, Peter Welch, and a friend of Carl Hosey, Brian Walsh. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thanks, Thank you. Us. I'll start with Brian. Um, tell me about Carl Hosey and his family. Uh, Carl worked with me for 17 years at the MBTA and um, just do anything for anybody, him and his wife. Two of the nicest people you'd ever meet, his three kids, James 17, Ryan's 15, Joe's 12. Um, Carl would go to the end of the earth to help anybody who's uh, experiencing, like Peter said, he'd help you move a bed, he'd help you paint your apartment. A uh, friend of mine, broken down on Dot Ave, Carl was preparing dinner for his family, he pulls over, takes him to go get gas. Uh, he says, aren't you preparing dinner? He said, yes, I am, and, and just uh, drove him to where he had to go, got him gas, brought him back to his car, and do anything to help anybody. Peter, uh, uh, Carl worked for the T, but he also spent a lot of time at your gym. What was he doing? Well, he helped us out with the gym, the original gym, the build out and stuff, and just a guy that was always there, you know, whether it was, you know, business or, you know, personal uh, uh, situation. Carl always, you know, had his hand out to help others, you know, and. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that's so striking about uh, uh, about Carl is, you know, he's from Dorchester, but he was always in Southie at the uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, serving dinners to the, uh, you know, to homeless and people that were in need. Uh, he did that with his father-in-law uh, for, you know, well over 15 years that I know of. And, uh, you know, it didn't matter where he was from or where anybody else was from, Carl always had his hand out to help, you know. And, uh, you know, my mother and father and his mother and father were friends before we were even born, so uh, we go back a little ways. Uh, and uh, he's just always been that way, and, and to this day, he's he's the same. So, you know, for me, if if, if you don't know Carl, um, you know, you just you, you never got a chance to meet Carl. Uh, you know, I'd, we'd love to have you come down and uh, come to the fight night and support Carl and his family, and uh, you know just this uh, disease in general, you know, the awareness of it, you know. It's, uh, I'm going to have a lot of people out there to support, and we just, we're here to hope, uh, to hope and help uh, the families like Carl uh, that are stricken by this disease. Brian, uh, he, he got the bad news, was it uh, Easter? Easter Sunday. What, what's it been like for them? It's been a, a challenge that's incomprehensible. Uh, but, you know, if there's any family that would define how to handle a situation of this magnitude, it's been the Holseys. Uh, Kyle came to work one morning and he didn't feel good. He said he felt like he had flu-like symptoms. Uh, went to a CVS satellite clinic that night. They came out with an x-ray. Um, he was sent to uh, Milton Hospital. They put him in an ambulance and sent him over to Beth Israel. And uh, within 48 hours, he was at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Um, stage four lung cancer, metastasization that went to the brain, um, femur, hip, bicep. Um, they just handled the situation with dignity, grace, and the most strength I've ever witnessed in my life. They had a rosary mass for Carl at their parish, St. Anne's in Dorchester. I'd say maybe 600, 700 people showed up and uh, the whole community came together. They had to shut down the, the ponds that have. Um, just that's who they are, direct reflection of who they are as people. Everybody's coming together, everybody's there. Um, right now, Kyle's on um, Taxol and Carboplatin, two of the strongest chemotherapies I believe he can take. And um, I think it's his second treatment now. He's had radiation. Um, for two weeks of the brain. Um, then they had uh, three weeks of chemo that wasn't as successful as everybody may have anticipated or wanted it to be. And now, um, like I said, he's on the Cabo Platinum and the Taxol, and they're the strongest family I've ever met in my life. And he, of course, he can't work when he's going to No, he, uh, he, he had to leave work to receive the treatments that he's receiving now, and. Uh, that's why we're having the fundraiser. That's what Peter's having fight night for him tomorrow, and there'll be another time August 22nd at the Teachers Union Hall also 
just trying to give back to somebody that gave to everybody else, their whole family. Peter, tell me about what you've got lined up for this event tomorrow night. Uh, well, we got a uh, super featherweight champion, WBA world champion, Javier Fortuna, who just won the title in May. Uh, he'll be there with his belt. Uh, among some other local professionals, Mark DeLuca, Ryan Kozeski, Danny O'Connor, uh, Greg Vendetti. Uh, they're going to do exhibitions uh, for, the, for the fans, and we have a bunch of uh, local amateur champions as well. Uh, Tony DeMarco is going to be Boxing there. legend here, apparently, right? Yeah, Tony yeah. DeMarco. He's, uh, you know, welterweight champ, 1951, uh, and he'll be there signing his books. Uh, who's who in the boxing world are going to be there to, uh, you know, to celebrate, uh, you know, some good fights and to uh, 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 pay tribute to, to one of Selty, Selty's own, Dorchester's own, Boston's own, Carl Hosey. Tell me a little bit what, what, what you see uh, your gym as being in the community because this is not a place where you work out and, and, and have boxing matches. I mean, you talk about feeding the homeless, doing an event like this. Uh, why, why is this important to you? It's a community center. You know, we, we've always had guys that, that came before us to, to lend a hand in their time to teach us not only boxing but, you know, other sports as well. You know, guys of the community. And that's, that's the fellowship of... Uh, you know, the communities and, you know, Southie, Dorchester, one and the same, you know, with the guys that, that gone through programs, whether it's academics, sports, um, you know, that's just the way the communities are, are built, you know, passing on to the next generation. That's just what we're doing. Uh, I'm just, you know, uh, grateful to have uh, a fine uh, team of guys, uh, you know, helping other people uh, to c continue the tradition, you know. And, uh, Good. Great. Brian, if people want to go to this event tomorrow night, what's the best way to get particulars? Maybe you can tell them a little more about the time and location. Well, it's at Peter's Gym. Uh, what's the, 371 Dorchester Avenue in South Boston. And show up, uh, park along Dorchester Avenue, park wherever you can find a spot. Uh, come in with we'll T-shirts, going to be items that will be raffled off. you see some great entertainment. And... Uh, It'll be a great event for a great purpose. And we got to a little bit of a log on things on, on Facebook, too, I think, for this cause to just put in Carl Hosey. I guess that should... Yes, there's a GoFundMe page also for Go Carl me. and exactly. his family. Exactly, you brought that up. Yeah. Yes, there's a GoFundMe page for him also. Um, like I said, the Teachers Union Hall on the 22nd, there'll be a benefit also for Carl and his family. Um, friends of Carl Hosey on Facebook. Friends of Carl Hosey on Facebook. Yeah, well, thank you both very much, uh, Brian Walsh. Thank you, Chris. And Peter Welch.